Calvin Candy. That's the repellent gentleman who owns her. Leonardo walked in and he was like, y'all just think I'm the good looking dude to have all the models? Watch what's about to happen. And they said action. And we saw this dude elevate his game to a place to where you couldn't sleep at night. If you're doing a scene with him, you gotta wake up. Django and his friend in gray here, Dr. Schultz, are customers. And they are our guests, Stephen. And you, you old decrepit bastard, ought to show them every hospitality. You understand that? As wonderful a leading man as Leo is, and you know, leading men don't grow on trees. It's kind of a big deal to be a good leading man. He's also a, a terrific character actor. I don't think he ever thinks in terms of, I'm playing the good guy, I'm playing the bad guy. He couldn't help but realize that the guy was a repellent gargoyle. All right, true that. But at the same time, I wanted him to let us get a sense of who Calvin Candy is. How could this way of life actually exist in this time period? Yo, Candy, I ain't got it in me no, no more. No, 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 begging. I'm playing on my soft heart. You're in trouble now, son. <laughs> I know. I done paid five hundred dollars for you. When I paid five hundred dollars, and I expect to get five fights before you roll over and play dead. And to watch Leo knee jerk, that's what I hope people understand. When he had to say some of that language, he was like, "Buddy, this is wow." And um, Samuel Jackson said, "Hey, man, it's just another Tuesday. Get over that, man." It is what it is, man. Now, come on now. Come on now. And uh, to see Leo come in the next day and not speak to us. Seeing as you won't pay a penny for this picking any here. You won't mind me handling this any way I see fit. It's difficult to watch. His work is very courageous, you know, because he's not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> See, you two getting on. <laughs> oh, Monsieur Condé, you can't imagine what it's like not to hear your native tongue in four years. Well, hell, I can't imagine two weeks in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> His characterization is you know, kind of awesome, and he's brought something to the character that I didn't see on the page, and that's made everybody else kind of step up to another place also. Gentlemen, if you care to join me in the parlor, we will be serving white cake. 